Watch you guys, got another video here for you on five ways to spot a scam email. Now, scam emails have been around for as long as I can remember. Now, phishing or scam emails can be generated for just about any topic, and that's exactly what they do, whether it be parcels, whether it'll be lottery, whether it'll be uh, payments of bills or banking or anything like that. This is what they generally send them out for, and they send it random to loads of different people every single day. You can see this one is supposedly from uh, Amazon.com. You can see it says Amazon dot and there's a space here com. Now, big companies will never use public domain uh, type of emails like Gmail.com. Sometimes they try to use uh, emails which are misspelt, which makes it look like it's from that major company. So be careful with those. This is not sent from Amazon.com, even though it has Amazon.com at the beginning. They're trying to trick you. And sometimes when you first wake up and you're looking for parcels to be delivered, you can sometimes fall foul to something like this. And that is the first thing to look out for is the domain name from where it's sent from. Another thing is normally is they're never addressed to you. They're normally hello, hi, welcome customer, valued customer, or hi at your email address or something along those lines because they don't know who you are. And this is the second way of detecting scam emails because if it isn't addressed to you personally then they don't know who you are and they're just trying to fish for information and try to get you to respond now another way is to uh, get some sort of sense of urgency with the message i.e your account has been suspended the payment didn't go through you need to pay it now and that is another uh, concern when you're looking at these emails because they would never ever do that another fourth way to look out for is the actual uh, link in itself or attachments you can see here this is linked to another site which is nothing to do with Amazon whatsoever so that is another thing to look out for is the actual link that's what they're trying to do is to get you to click on this and then they would ask you to probably fill out your details and fill out your information now if it's something like YouTube and along those lines they're not looking to send you attachments or anything like that what they're trying to do is steal your account so every scam email is different some of them are trying to fish for your information your banking details to get to pay some money and some of them are trying to steal your account this one is linked to another email address here now you can see due to copyright takedown notice that is we've received they've now taken down one of my videos. They want me to click on this link, which you should never ever do because this link will take you to accounts, YouTube, and they'll try to get you to sign in. It will say that we've got some sort of problem. Can you just put in your account details? And then voila, they have your account details. And guess what? You'll wake up one morning and your whole YouTube account will be transferred into their name and you will have lost everything. And this has been happening a lot to uh, a lot of people on YouTube with YouTube accounts. So they will send these out randomly. These images will normally show up, but they're blocked inside Outlook, but they will show up generally. You can see it says, hi, Brian at brightechcomputers.co.uk. It isn't addressed to me personally, it's addressed to an email address. So they don't know who I am. It's just a, probably a bot that's sending this out or someone is sending this out. Uh, so that's the way those work. And you can see another sense of urgency there you have a copyright strike, your account will be uh, suspended, your account will be terminated. They'll use all of these things to fear you to make you respond. And this is exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to make you click on this, which gives you uh, a, a redirect to somewhere else. Now, some of them may even infect your PC and steal your information. Some of them are for banking, which will also try to steal your information. This one is FedEx, another parcel one here. You can see there's no uh, domain name there pointing to FedEx.com or anything like that. And again, what they're trying to do is make you click on the link, which is probably going to end up asking for some payment details to release the parcel. And once you do that, you will not receive a parcel. You're going to basically end up out of pocket and they'll have your details. This is the very scary thing that uh, happens to a lot of people and uh, th this is also redirected to a bunch of other different people you blurred it out up the top there but there's a load of emails they've sent this to and what they do is they normally go around looking for emails on the internet from companies or people like myself and try to then scam those people here is another common one in the UK which is going around all the time which is the TV licensing scam you can see they want you to click on here and 
pay by direct debit payment. They're saying, uh, oops, something went wrong with your payment and they want you to click on that link, which you should never do. And it's pointing to another uh, URL, not tvlicensing.co.uk uh, or anything like that. You can see info at, and it's not even from TV licensing. They've just got TV licensing at the beginning. And this one is addressed to loads of different people. It will automatically put hi dear or dear customer or something along those lines. Now, this is a food company in the UK called Tesco, and it's also dear customer. Again, they're asking for some information. The email has been sent to you by Tesco to inform you that you're unable to process the most recent payment. And again, this is another common thing what they're trying to do. And it's not just Tesco, it'll be other companies as well. And what they're trying to do is get you to respond and you can see it's from gmail.com and things like that. So this is not going to be um, from Tesco themselves or Sainsbury's or any of those people. It just really doesn't matter. You just got to be on the ball when you're looking at emails because even PayPal, uh, which is another big company, which is PayPal Notification Center, they're basically saying we've limited access to your account because your account was recently logged into from a browser or device was that you and then they're going to ask you to log into that account now once you log into that account what it's going to do is ask for clarification who you are by putting in your bank details and stuff like that and I guess what's going to happen they're going to take all the money out of your account and that's exactly what this scam is is to rip you off so again don't click on links and don't do any of that stuff if you're a Netflix uh, owner then of course you can see here your account is on hold this is another common one this is just for netflix please update your payment details and again you'll click on the update account now and guess what's going to happen it's going to ask for your bank details and it's not netflix at all it's a scam and what they're going to do from there is obviously transfer money out of your account to their account which will then be closed down and they've just ripped you off of all your hard-earned cash should be very very careful when it comes to those types of scams so let's quickly go over the five things so you can actually really uh, look at all the emails when they come in so the first thing to look at is the email address it's coming from so that will be a public email address if it's a scam email address that is something like gmail.com or something like that it's not going to be um, say google.com or youtube.com be careful because sometimes they put that at the beginning and make it look like it's from them when it's actually from some bogus uh, email address so if it's from one of those then be careful and also misspell um, domain names be very very careful also we're going to move on to number two so let's move on to number two which was addressing to you as a person it will be hi or uh, for instance hi customer or something like that they do not uh, address you like that it will be your full name if they were going to address you via email and it's very unlikely they will contact you via email anyway like that some people like youtube may do but they will always have uh, uh, youtube.com and it will always be addressed to you personally not your email address number three was the sense of urgency from that email i.e uh, your payment is due uh, we couldn't take payment uh, your details need to be updated or something along those lines and get you to click on a dodgy link do not click on those links that is the full thing to watch out for so uh, sense of urgency is the third thing uh, dodgy links is another one and attachments be very very careful they are normally redirected to another site and they'll get you to fill out all your information and details from that uh, from that place okay now number five I wanted to point out which I didn't cover in the video because there wasn't really much bad spelling but really what you want to look out for is really poor grammar poor spelling and stuff like that so punctuation things like that if if it's coming from a big company like YouTube Amazon uh, bank or anything like that then it's going to be spelt correctly and it's also going to be written correctly uh, with a very good English and not poor English okay so just bear that in mind when you're looking at emails anyway that's going to be about it hope these tips help you out my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk remember guys 
there is scam emails out there for just about every topic so always be on your guard if you are clicking on emails you don't want to be uh, getting yourself infected or losing all your hard-earned cash and ended up in big big trouble okay anyway have a great day out there enjoy the sunny weather and i shall see you again for another video tomorrow bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos <laughs>